Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. I am smoking my Wednesday 320, my unfinished Savinelli Series 3, and in it I am smoking some brown twist that was made by Clint up in Alaska for Stephen Cobbett of the Shire. And this stuff is really good. So it's like a brown twist. Pull out a chunk of that. I just have a little little bit of it left. I ordered some Samuel Gawith brown twist, but it's a it's a big twist of tobacco and uh, I just got a little bit of it left here but in fact I'm gonna take that out of the plastic bag because it is so so moist that it's nearly impossible to smoke right out of the bag <laughs> so But that's what it looks like in there, if you can see it in there. Tough to light. Yeah, it's so, so moist. And I've had that sitting out for a good hour. It's just hard to keep, hard to get lit and keep lit. Hmm, what is this such good stuff? So I think, uh, wasn't planning on doing a video today at all. But I just couldn't help it. Just couldn't help it. Blue kept bugging me to come outside, so. I could not sleep last night. I think I got about two hours sleep. And uh, I've been up since I slept from three to five, basically. I think it was something like that last night. I've been up ever since. And uh, it is 4:15 in the afternoon right now, and I feel great. Feel great. It is a beautiful day. It's about 80 degrees right now. Gorgeous, just pure blue sky. Birds, hummingbirds flying all around on the tree out here. There's just hummingbirds all over this tree. Got these, I think it's a pepper tree. It's got little red berries all over it. Man, they just, hummingbirds just attack that tree. That's basically what I watch when I'm out here is the hummingbirds on the tree. And then I get doves and crows and hawks. Lots of hawks lately out here. And wild parrots get just 
flocks of wild parrots flying overhead every once in a while. It's a good tobacco, but another very strong tobacco. I love the way this pipe has colored up. Boy, it has colored up nicely. It's got some nice grain on it, too. It's got a lot of fills, though. <laughs> it has a lot of fills on it. But it's, uh, I love this pipe. Boy, it smokes great. I think when I get, I want to add one more. Well, I want to add several more 320s eventually but I get one more nice 320 for the weekly rotation then this will go to like my everyday one of my this and, and my Rossi's will be my Uh, EDC pipes. My EDC 320s. Or my Anytime 320s. I love the way this feels. I just love the way this these unfinished ones just have this uh, that natural feel that they have is just something special. And the way they color up. I'm expecting my delivery from Storyteller Pipe tomorrow. And I got to tell you, Storyteller Pipe, their customer service is incredible. I, uh, I, I did an order from them, and I forgot an item. And so I, re, I ordered the, the item I forgot, and I paid the shipping on that order. And they sent me an email saying that they were going to put it all in one bag one box and refund the shipping on the second order that I did that's just amazing um, so I want to give storyteller pipe a shout out um, I can't put a link to them in the box here I got in trouble from YouTube for putting a phone number to Liberty Tobacco. They took down one of my videos and gave me a warning. 
um, because I put a phone number for a Liberty Tobacco Shop. So I can't put any links to any tobacco shops or websites or anything like that for tobacco in any of my videos from now on or I will get uh, a, a strike. They just gave me a warning on that one, so, and took the video down. So, I mean, they could have at least just let me remove the phone number. I mean, that would have been, you know, the nice, kind thing to do. Just say, hey, remove this phone number. Or they could have done it, you know, instead of taking a whole video down for a phone number. But, oh well, it's there. I'm using it for free. It's their rules. I'm not going to complain. Guess I already have. So. <laughs> Too late, I already have complained. So, But, yeah, it's their rules. So. But Storyteller Pipe, great, great service and great, man, they just went above and beyond and, and I, I, I just think they're amazing and, uh, and it's not like I've been a big customer of theirs. This was my very first order with them and uh, they just took care of it and they've got me for a customer from now on and uh, But I should get my delivery tomorrow from them. And so I think I'm going to do, uh, since I'm getting some twists and some ropes and some, um, some kind of odd tobaccos from them, some plugs and stuff, I'm going to do maybe a series on how I prepare those tobaccos for smoking. And... Uh, Since it's stuff that a lot of people don't use or smoke anymore, it's kind of the old-fashioned tobaccos, and a lot of guys don't smoke them. So, you know, maybe if if uh, somebody's interested in smoking those, it might be interesting to see how I I prepare them when I smoke them, and. Uh, I will start doing that these next few videos that I do during the day. I will do them and show you guys how I cut them, prepare them. There are several different ways you can do them. Um, and I'll show you just how I do it. And explain the other ways that they can be done. Good stuff. This is really good. Good stuff here.
This is some serious strong tobacco. Um, really strong tobacco. <laughs> this stuff that uh, Clint Clinton, I think his name is Clint Clinton. Up at, yeah. Frozen backy blender. Made this for Stephen Cobbett of the Shire, and Stephen sent me a, a small little chunk of it to try, and I've been loving this. So I ordered some brown twist, some brown Irish twist to try, which is supposed to be very, very strong, very strong tobacco. Very good though. tough to keep this tobacco going because it's so moist and I'm <clears throat> trying to the best way I found to keep it going is just to do the freight train like matches used to do it where you do those short quick draws like he would do Man, that gives me such a nick hit when I do that, especially with this tobacco. I'm loving this. I'm loving this tobacco. This is some fantastic stuff. So I'm just going to finish this up here. I will uh, end this here and I will talk to you guys later. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a good day. God bless each and every one of you. I love you all. Have a good one. God bless.